God bless you. Dr. Kazumba Charles here. Today we're going to stand with you in prayer. We're going to pray for the power of God to help you in the situation that you are in right now. To help you in every battle that you are in right now. Listen, life is full of battles. We all go through the battles. And actually the Bible says in this world, we are going to have trouble. And now we know trouble sometimes may surround us in every area, in every way and in every area. But we have a God who can fight for us. We have a God who is with us in the midst of the battle. We have the God who is stronger and mighty in power in every battle. And today I want to stand with you to declare the power of God in the situation that you are going through. Whatever you are going through, I want to assure you that we have a God who is powerful. We have a God who fight for us. We have a God who is not, sl who is not sleeping up on you and he cannot sleep. Number. I want to take you before we pray together here. Uh, before we pray together, I want to take you to the book of uh, 1 Kings uh, chapter chapter 20 verse 23. I want to show you something very powerful here that it doesn't matter where the enemy has taken you into a battlefield. It doesn't matter how difficult you seem the situation may be getting right now. God is a God of every situation. God is a God who fight for us. Look at a uh, Look at our first Kings chapter 20 verse 23. Now the king of Aram's servants said to him, their gods are gods of the hill country. That's why they were stronger than we were. Instead, we should fight them on the plain. Then we will certainly be stronger than they are. What we see here is that uh, the king, the enemies of Israel, thought that God was only stronger on the hills. And they thought if we take the children, of, if we take the Israelites into the valley or into the plain, we could defeat them there. Israel's enemy forgot that God is a God both over the hills as well as um, the God over the valley. In this case, the enemy wanted to take them into the valley. Listen, the valley is a depressing, depre depressive uh, area, and that uh, the enemy likes to take people into the valley, into the valley of the shadow of death, into the valley of poverty, into the valley of sickness, into the valley of every depression, into the valley of oppression, so that he can attack them there. Because uh, when you are in the valley, sometimes there is no hope. Sometimes Sometimes you feel like there is no hope nobody can save you that's what the enemy was trying to do here but look what God did what uh, look what God did in the valley verse 28 of uh, first Kings uh, chapter 20 verse 28 then the man of God approached and said to the king of Israel this is what the Lord says because the Arameans have said that the Lord is a God of the mountains and not a God of the valley I will hand over all this all a huge army to you then you will know that I am the Lord then you will know that I am the Lord so God said because the Arameans thinks that I'm the God of the mountain only and not the God of the valley I will destroy them listen the enemy takes us into the valley so that he can oppress them, so that he can oppress us. He takes us into the valley so that he can destroy us. But the Bible assures us in Psalms 23 verse 4, it declares that even when we go through the darkest valley, even when we go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger. Why? For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The secret here is a God being with us when we go through the valley when you're going through the valley the valley of, uh, of the shadow of death when you're going through challenges when you're going through things that are trying to oppress you the key is to have God with you to be with God you see the same way God gave the Israelites a victory in the valley as well as he gave them victory on the mountain it demonstrate to us that God is not limited he can save you from the situation you are going through he can save you 
you from the situation you are encountering right now. He is the God of the valley. He is the God over the mountain. Even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death right now, I'll ask you not to fear. Why? Because we have a God who is powerful. He is the God who can fight for you. And I want to declare today by the authority of the Word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever challenge you are facing right now, we declare the power of God to help you come out of it in the name of Jesus. We declare the power of God to give you deliverance and salvation in Jesus' name. Whatever situation you are encountering right now, we declare the authority of the Word of God. We declare the power of the Almighty God to get you out of that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare God's power upon your life, God's power upon your marriage, God's power upon your family, God's power upon your children in the mighty name of Jesus. We silence the powers of the enemy. We silence the powers of the enemy today and we declare the authority of of the power of God upon you today in Jesus' name. The enemy has no power and authority over your life. You are free by the power of God in Jesus' name. We speak salvation. We speak divine help. We speak divine intervention of God. We speak today salvation upon you today in the name of Jesus. God says, fear not for I am with you. Fear not, I am with you. God is with you. If you are in God and you are with God, God is with you. Fear not, your situation is changing right now. Your circumstances are changing right now by the authority and the power of God. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, that you have never lost a battle. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the God who gives us victory. We thank you, Jesus, that we have victory in you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare upon you right now, as you are watching from around the world, whatever situation you are, that is bringing discouragement, whatever situation that seems to be like you are in the valley, I declare like God gave Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37 speak to this dry bone can this dry bone leave and Ezekiel says only you God knows yes God knows every situation can change right now and as Ezekiel began to prophesy to the dry bone God told Ezekiel prophesy to the dry bone and Ezekiel began to prophesy to the dry bone and everything started coming back to its normality Everything started coming back. Today we prophesy like Ezekiel prophesied to the dry bone. We prophesy life upon you right now. We prophesy healing upon you right now. We prophesy deliverance right now. We prophesy salvation upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every chains of the enemy, we break them down out of you right now. In Jesus' name, you are free by the power of God. You are free because of the blood of Jesus and we declare today day your freedom in Jesus' name. You are there, you've never given your life to the Lord. You've never surrendered your life to the Lord. I want to help you today and discover the power, the power that is, surpasses every power, the power of God. Just say, dear Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I repent of my sins. Forgive me today. Change me and transform me as I turn back to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. That's how we begin to walk with the power above every power, the power of God. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today. If you are going through a challenging moment that seems like you are in the valley, the Bible declares in Psalms 23 verse 4, I want you to stand on that scripture, stand on that scripture and declare to yourself, even though I go through the darkest valley, I shall fear nothing. Why? Because God is with you. God is bringing healing. God bring direction to you, God is bringing provision, and God is bringing sustenance, and God is bringing protection as well from all the demonic forces. God's power is upon you, I declare in Jesus' name. This is just a prayer. We have done a lot of series on, uh, on, on uh, dealing with our uh, territorial spirits that hold you back. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, support our YouTube channel, subscribe, and watch this series. They are going to build your faith. Until then, God God bless you. Shalom, shalom, and keep going higher because Jesus Christ is with you. Shalom.